Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming uh, and joining us this evening for this very special event here at Abiding Word Lutheran Church. We, we have the great privilege of having all the way from Mankato, Minnesota, the concert band and also the jazz band of Bethany Lutheran College under the direction of Professor Adrian Lowe and also uh, Professor Eric Hermanson. And they have a, uh, a number of, of fine songs and performances that they will be uh, uh, performing for us this evening. We are very excited to have them here and we want to welcome them here this evening. The first number we will play for you, American Fanfare. And if you don't recognize that tune, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs>
time in my life we had on TV, it's this big zine thing. <laughs> and, and that, uh, I remember I was not allowed to watch it when I came home from school. Um, but I would. <laughs> and I remember my parents would come home and they'd feel the television. <laughs> You've been watching! <laughs> Developed all sorts of ways to cool the exterior. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good, that's good. You didn't watch. <laughs> but one of the things I remember watching uh, was uh, Leonard Bernstein's Young People's Concert. I don't know if anybody remember that. Leonard Bernstein, an American uh, who uh, made his way to the top of the musical uh, uh, celebrity dome uh, in, in his time, in spite of the fact that. Americans look to Europeans as the best musicians. All the top conductors and all the orchestras were uh, Stokowskis and Toscaninis and Klemperers and Munch and whatever. But not Bernstein, not only American, he was Jewish. So of course, we don't, we don't recall that almost all the filmmakers and all of the famous songwriters we know Paul Porter and Berlin were all Jews. But anyway, uh, so, but he was successful uh, in the classic way. He was an uh, understudy, an assistant conductor, all of a sudden the main conductor fell ill. Last minute he stepped in, conducted a whole long program to break a point. So he was very successful. And uh, then he went on to also write, he composed all sorts of music both popular as well as serious. And so when he wrote serious music, popular musicians didn't really care what he wrote. And when he wrote popular music, serious musicians criticized him. So uh, this is one of the popular pieces that he wrote was West Side Story. And so we'll play for you one movement, Mambo.
Chester. Chester was uh, actually a revolutionary war tune. It was, uh, the lyrics are full of energy, but also a lot of rebelliousness against, uh, obviously, at this time, the British. So uh, you will you'll see a lot of uh, spunk, a lot of inventiveness in this setting by uh, William Schumann, an American composer. Um, unfortunately, not played very much. I hope uh, in years to come that you will be able to hear more of his music. He wrote, he wrote a lot of beautiful choral pieces as well. So William Schumann's <laughs> setting of Chester. And after this, we'll take a little bit of a break, change to the jazz band. 